Welcome to Church Office Online's new Mass Edit video tutorial. We're pleased to announce the release and availability of one of the most requested features in our feature requested tool, Feedback and Support, which can be found on every page of your program. Mass Edit will allow you to mass edit individuals quickly and easily by modifying the value or data of multiple individuals. Now, because Mass Edit allows you to make changes from one to all, individual records, we highly recommend you perform simple changes at first. The nature of this feature does not provide an undo command, so if a mistake is made, you will have to change back the records using the Mass Edit feature. Let's begin. You can locate the Mass Edit feature by going to Church, and in Church, on the left side, bottom of the row, in Individuals, you'll see Mass Edit. Click the Mass Edit. You'll be taken to the Mass Edit page. Now this individual Mass Edit feature enables you to make those changes as mentioned. And the first step to making that change is to enter the field value that you want to change. So in our first example, let's enter the field value of member type. Now in our church, we have those who are uh, new members that um, become members after they finish the new members class. Now after completion, then we change those over to members. Now there are many individuals that take that class and so going into individual records one at a time can take a little bit of time. So what we're going to do now is once we have identified the member type field that we're going to change, we now identify the field value that is going to be changed in member type. For our purposes today, we're going to change that. Where they were new members, we're now going to change it to member. Now. So the next thing we need to do is select the individuals uh, that will be changed. And so we are going to, we have several selection processes. You can filter by uh, different types of fields like city, custom field, postal code, state or province, uh, by member type, age category, gender, marital status, ministries, phone or mobile, and even names. But for our purposes today, again, we're changing those that were new members to the status of member. So all we have to do is really use the member type field. So we'll go down here and uh, we're going to change those who are new members. And then we'll show those individuals here. Now this does not automatically make them a member as yet. We need to mark their individual record to perform those changes. Now in here, um, these are all the people that attended with the exception of one and uh, his name is Chad. He uh, did not, was not able to make the new members class and so all these others here will be changed though from new members to members. Now all we need to do is perform the edit. And once you do that, you'll be asked again, are you sure? And uh, there will be 14 changes made. There were 15 new members, um, uh, records designated as new members. And uh, they'll be changed to member type uh, as member. And are you sure? And he says, yes, we are. So you're going to perform it. It indicates that uh, they were saved ex successfully up here in the top right. And now if we go back to our dashboard where once we had 88 members and 15 uh, new members, uh, your dashboard will reflect the changes that have been made as well. So you go here, new member, there's only one now, and that's Chad. And of course, now instead of 88 members, we now have 102. Let's. Um, uh, try another example that we can put on our mass edit feature. You can go to church again, go to mass edit. This time what we're going to do is change um, custom fields edits. Now this program will allow you to uh, change any information or values or uh, enter in new uh, values to your custom fields. All you simply do again is select the field that you want to change. It's a custom fields field and we're going to enter the new field value. And notice down here below again, it says, note, if you enter a value that doesn't exist for a given custom field, the value will automatically be added as part of the mass edit. So in this particular case, we are going to enter a new uh, field value for the name of a high school. Say a new high school was just added to um, uh, your area, and it's called Hope um, High School. And, um, and the ones that we are going to add to Hope High School uh, is our junior hires. And so this time we're going to go to age category. We're going to select those who are in junior high. And 
and uh, again we'll select the individual show the individuals and they're listed here we're going to mark all these individuals as uh, now attending hope uh, high school and our custom fields high school um, or school uh, names and we just perform the edit it tells us that 14 uh, records belonging to junior hires they'll now be put into high school uh, attending hope high school and uh, again it says you've performed uh, quickly uh, for our last remaining edit um, uh, using our mass edit we're going to change address information the post office uh, perhaps has sometimes changes postal codes and uh, they had a postal code of um, uh, just uh, requested uh, certain records be changed over to that so this is the new postal code number 97367 and we are going to change again uh, we're going to use this field type and this time we're going to put in postal code and gives us the opportunity to put in the old postal code so it's going to look up the records of those that have this um, um, postal code uh, right here, go back Uh, six eight and we're going to have to show the postal code and now we're just performing the edit and uh, again uh, that changes all those uh, values now we know that you'll um, uh, receive a lot of benefit from the mass edit program and again if you have any questions regarding this mass edit please contact support at churchofficeonline.com thank you very much